Hello everybody, time for another unboxing video. This is the Hot Wheels 2016 K case. The latest basic uh, case just arrived today from a &J Toys. Um, you guys ask me sometimes where these cases come from. Look down below in the comments section. There's a link to a &J Toys. You can buy cases there. Uh, that's where I get mine. And they're great. Uh, Ken over there is, uh, is a cool dude. Really easy to work with. Anyway. Um, we're going to get right to it. 72 count case. We haven't done these it seems like for a while. We've been opening all kinds of other things. Sometimes it's nice to get back to the basics. So let's just see what's inside. Uh, I'll just put this over here. This is an international case. So, um, I mean, sometimes we'll do the U.S. cases, but uh, it tends to be the U.S. the international cases that show up first. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right in and see what's here. Some of these cars we've already featured on the blog, um, I think. Some we haven't. So we will start with the Z-Rod, which I think is new, um, and uh, the Papa Wheelie. Um, that is new too. And they're very gold, gold models, uh, part of the Super Chrome series. Next up, I think these are all repeats, but then again, I'm not as much of a specialist on the uh, on the non-licensed. Obviously, the Batmobile is a repeat uh, from the last case. We know that because it was the Super Treasure Hunt. Next up, okay, uh, we'll talk about this a little bit. The Aston Martin V8 Vantage and the Fast Gassin. Now some of you have pointed out that the um, the Fast Gassin is now a two axle model as opposed to a three axle model. Now I imagine well you know what the evidence is uh, is pretty obvious. Just take a look at the card and you see three axles but you don't see three axles on the model. Which is a bummer, but uh, to be expected, I think, with some of these. We talk about, in fact, in the uh, post we just did um, on the uh, new Matchbox Mercedes, we talk about the four-piece rule, or maybe it's the five-piece rule, but there's wheels, there's a chassis. Besides the wheels, there's a chassis, an interior, window piece, um, and the body of the vehicle. Uh, when you do these type of special models, there's obviously more, there's obviously more pieces um, and I guess in order to save some money, they've taken it down to one axle. Yeah, I think because we're used to the three, or to two axles. So we're used to the three axles on this model. It looks a little odd. I will admit to that. Um, wasn't a model I collected before. I'll tell you, um, if they, uh, if Matchbox were to take a wheel away from that, um, yeah, then I might have something a little bit more to say. But... That's not going to happen, obviously. All right. Okay, the Bad Bagger, the Hoverstorm, and the F1 Racer. Bad Bagger, that is the treasure hunt. Where is that little symbol? Down in that flame on the back. Um, that's pretty cool. Treasure hunt, if you like the motorcycles. It's a cool model. Um, I really do like on this F1 Racer, because it's the glow-in-the-dark wheels, I do like that they've taken that lace-style wheel and made it that glow in the dark. I think that's kind of cool. I don't know what I'd do with that, but you know, it's cool. All right, more of gold. This is gold is definitely the theme of this case, right? Double demon down below and the Monta Racer on top. And again, I don't. Maybe the Monta Racer is a is a new model. I don't know. Um, anyway, could be. Kind of looks like it's based on that Caterham. I don't know. You guys know better than me. Some of you probably know better than me. Alright. Okay, the Bat. So more Bat cars. And the BMW Z4 M Motorsport. That is the... Uh, oh. I mean, if you want to see the Bat, there's the Bat. Oh. Not anything I'm too into, but I do like those. And that's this, yes, this is the treasure hunt in this case. Um... I don't think I've got it, but uh, uh, it does look pretty good. It's a treasure hunt that I hope to find or acquire eventually. Um, looks pretty good. I don't even know if there's even more. Ad there's additional deco for the super treasure hunt, but um, this one's pretty cool. I think that's the first BMW treasure hunt, too. I could be wrong. There would have been one from years ago, but 
I do like that model. Okay, Snowstormer might be a new color. Same thing with the Gazella GT. Moving on. Crate Racer, that's new model. Uh, Chevy Camaro Concept, that's a repeat. Maybe it's a new color, I don't know. And the Faradox, which I think is a new color. But the, um, yeah, Crate Racer. Um, it has a crate on it, and it's a racer. I'm not against crates. I'm not against racers either, but, uh, yeah. Okay, Chevy Silverado, I think that's a repeat. 76 Greenwood Corvette in black, very, very sharp in black. Um, and then the uh, recolor of the 2005 Ford Mustang. Um, obviously, the, the previous version was based on an actual Hot Wheels car, right? An actual car that Hot Wheels has produced. I still think this is a very significant model this year because it's got the movable chin, um, that chin spoiler, uh, so it's compatible to the track but also looks good. And then it's got these, the window piece is part of, or the headlights and the taillights are part of the window piece, which we've also seen on the BMW CSL. I think this is really, this model really shows where Hot Wheels can go um, with some of their innovations and stay within budget. Obviously, as we see with that uh, gasser, the, the budget is very important, but they can do that. They've been making those innovations. It's cool to see. Greenwood Corvette, I will always collect the Greenwood Corvette, just a, just a crazy model, and I just love it, love it, love it. Alright, okay, Olds 442, I think that's a, well, maybe it's a new color, I can't remember. Recolor BMW 2002. Always happy to have more of those. And then the Honda Monkey, which I think people will like to see that repeating in the case. And the 10 Camaro 2010 Camaro SS, I think that's also a repeat from the uh, last case. Looks like a looks like the treasure hunt from a couple years ago. All right, let's move that. Let's get down below here. Okay, the Chevy Blazer 4x4, that's a new color, right? I don't. I mean, I know it's a new color. I can't remember if it's new to this case. Sometimes you lose track. And then the, uh, sorry, the brand new Bone Speeder. Take on the Bone Shaker. So we have an off road Bone Shaker, right? And then we have now the Bone Speeder. But there's no, uh, no skull on the front. How can it be a Bone Shaker if it's got no skull? I'm looking around. I don't know. I don't see a skull anywhere. Miss my skull. Alright. I'll get over it. Oh my gosh. Let me just get pull these out a little bit. There we go. And did they fall in the back? They did. So we're gonna go out of order because those fell down. Okay. Toyota off-road truck, new for a new color for uh, 2016. I like that in blue. Um, the Chevy Impala and the Dodge Charger SRT. That's also, these are both, the two bottom ones are repeats. The Toyota is new, I really like that. The casting's kind of gotten a bit of a resurgence, hasn't it? Okay, these are new. New color for the uh, Ford Torino Talladega. That looks good in blue, I like that. I think I like it better in the white. Um, and then, very cool design on the uh, Sesto Elemento, the Lamborghini. They've done some great colors on this casting. And uh, that's a good one. I don't mind the wheels on this either. I know some of you do. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, 
No complaints there. Chevy Silverado, obviously that's a repeat, and so is this. I'm happy to have as many of these as needed. What a cool, cool model. I don't think it's any surprise what my model of the year is going to be. Although, actually, I've thought about a couple of things that might surprise you, but this one will be in heavy consideration, I think. I just, I know, I know I've showed it a hundred times. I'll just, I'll stop. Anyway. Kind of an error on that bottom one. It's got some pieces, kind of, nothing too, nothing too crazy, though. Okay, another old and I think another new model, the Night Shifter. This is kind of cool looking. What would you say that is? What would you what would you say it's based on? I don't know, make a comment or seven. Let me know what you think. The way they do the headlights. I have some thoughts. Maybe I'll get into it later, but I don't know. Kind of interesting. I think that's the Chrysler Turbine, right? Maybe a modern take on that? Am I wrong on that with those headlights like that? It looks like it's got some sort of jet engine in it. I don't know. But that, that reminds me of the Turbine. Look at the artwork too. Yeah, you guys tell me. Okay. Okay, good stuff here. I'll try and speed it up. New color on the Ford Raptor. They also uh, did some deco on the back. That looks cool. The Ford was always, the, the Ford has always been embossed in the body, but making that little silver. That's a nice color on that. Using different wheels as well. And then here is an old favorite of mine too. Just like the Greenwood Corvette. If Hot Wheels releases a 70, 72 Ford Grand Torino Sport, I collect it. It goes in the collection without a doubt. This one has a little flame motif on it. Um, probably not my favorite deco on it, but um, it goes in the collection without a doubt. Okay. I know uh, the shark bite has gotten some attention, right? Because it, when it rolls, it chomps. Yeah, there's a blah blah blah. Muscle speeder in green, I think that's a repeat rev rod, is chrome. Okay, here's some cool stuff. Lotus Esprit S1 and the Subaru WRX STI, both new colors, new designs for 2016. What do we have? Red and white with the Lotus, right? And now yellow. I love that they're staying with the uh, stock deco on that. Give it a few colors. Very Matchbox-esque of them. Subaru looks good in that racing livery. Okay, oh, we've had some things fall, so I don't know if this is totally in order, but um, that gold car, the Batmobile, and one car that we just featured on the blog, the Time Taxi. A lot of good comments on the blog from you guys about this car and about what you think. Obviously, it, it appears to be based on a Hong Kong taxi. Um, and then put in some sort of drift. Someone mentioned that there's the time attack in the drift world. Um, I'm not uh, much into the drift world, so I didn't know that. So that might be exactly. It's a drift taxi, right? And yes, it does have an opening piece. Um, I have the one I was using here. Door does open. Doesn't really stay open because it's part of the interior. But, uh, you know, the one door, I think the rest are kind of sealed shut, but uh, it does click. So you can see that. You could go in a little closer if you want to see it. Open. Close. Okay. All right. We'll put that over here. Okay. The last cars besides the ones that dropped in the back. New color on the Formula Solar. Right, is that in focus? There we go. 
and the Humvee. And the last cars that fell in the back. Oh yay, muscle tone and the turbine time. So, uh, again, I don't know if those are new colors. Kind of cool, it has kind of that sticker look, right? Well, I guess we can pay attention to that a little bit more because it's one of those art cars, there's a T. Um, so this one looks to be based on, you know, having all the stickers. That style, that's kind of cool. All right. I can get behind that. All right, that is the case. 2016 K case, good stuff in there. I think the time of taxi is what people are uh, most interested in. I like that BMW, of course. And um, anyway, um, leave some comments down below. We'll do some more case openings coming up. See you later.